What's up my Hope Scope Home Slices? Cute, cheap bikinis. That is what's up today. Do I have the perfect bikini body right now? No. Do I care? No. Am I gonna show you some super cute swimsuits anyway? Sure am. I got all of these swimsuit sets, top and bottom, for under $20 from, I don't know how to pronounce this, so I'm gonna leave it up to your imagination. The links to everything will, of course, be down in the description box. For reference, I got a medium in everything. The shipping of this stuff was Speedy Gonzalez, which was a pleasant surprise. Also, it's free if you spend over $30, which is pretty sweet, because that's only like two swimsuits. So let me tell you if these are nice and cheap, or if they're just nice and cheap. I am living for halter style bikini tops right now. This is just called the High Neck Bikini Set. It's in the color tie-dye. It is made from a cotton polyester material, which is not ideal for most clothing and active wears, but it is for swimsuits. That is because it holds color nicely and it's the fabric that's most resistant to chlorine. Also, you know when you've worn a swimsuit bottom a few times and the butt starts bagging and it looks like you're wearing a giant diaper? Yeah, polyester doesn't do that. This swimsuit is unlined and it doesn't have any pads. Although it has some nice coverage, the girls are just flying solo in there, so don't get too excited about anything. There's no way to adjust this part that goes around your chest and back, so if that's too big, you're kind of straight out of luck. It's cute though. These bottoms are super comfy. It has a natural elastic waist. I really like where these hit. They're a little bit little. I wish that there was an option to get a small top and a large bottom so that I could have a little more coverage on the booty. When I was shopping for these swimsuits, I had a solid 30 swimsuits in my cart. So I grabbed Tyler and I was like, okay, if you had to pick any of these to get rid of, what would you pick? Except for that one. And he was like, that would have been the one I would have picked. But it's my little mermaid swimsuit. So I bought it anyway. Yeah, you guys might think that this is cheesy, but I love it. When I was little, like four, my parents would take me places and introduce me to people. And they'd be like, oh, you're such a cute little girl. What's your name? And I'd be like, Ariel. And they'd be like, oh, that's such a pretty name. And my parents would be like, it's not even close to what her name is. I was obsessed. I still am obsessed. This swimsuit is made from a nylon material. The top is push-up padded. It has a nice underwire. I generally don't like swimsuit tops that feel like an actual bra because when I'm in a swimsuit, I want to be surfing, wakeboarding, swimming, diving, jumping off cliffs. Baby cliffs, mind you. Not constantly making sure unwanted guest appearances don't happen. No, I'm saying. Want to hear a funny joke? These are called high-waisted bottoms. They're like regular bottoms on me. Size the freak up if you buy this. I definitely could have used a large bottom, probably a large top as well. You know what I love? When I go online to buy something and all the reviews are in Spanish. Five stars? I'll take your palabra for it. I bet those all say size the freak up and I didn't know about it. You guys ready for this sexy little number? This is the tie-dye one-piece high leg swimsuit. This costs $17.81. What is that price? Like, am I supposed to psychologically feel like I'm spending less money than if they would've just priced it at $17.99 like normal people? I didn't feel like that. When I saw this pattern, I fell in love with it. It's called Lake Blue. This is made from a nylon polyester material. It's very comfortable. It has kind of like a seamless feel to it. It is padded, but there's no wires. It has this nice caged detailing on the hips and it is considered a natural waist. If by natural waist they mean goes all the freaking way up your butt, then yes, it's very natural. It's a little too cheeky and a little too side booby for my liking, but by all means, it is sexy and if you wanna rock it, you do you, boo. I just feel like if I so much as breathe wrong, we're gonna have some poppy outy action. If you have an Instagram, A, go follow Hope Scope Official, and B, you've probably seen this swimsuit all over your Insta feed, particularly this leaf pattern. This was 1849. This one has the V collar and razor back. It's kind of like sports bra style, which I really like because I feel like it's actually functional. There were a ton of different cuts in this pattern. This is made from a nylon material and it does have some pads in it. This next one might be my favorite. It was only $14.99 and this swimsuit comes in the colors blackish green, burgundy, olive, and orange red. This thick strap is so comfy and supportive. It's made from a really interesting material. It's just polyester, but it has a really interesting texture to it. The top is padded and I'm just gonna tell you right now, these bottoms run super duper tight. 
but they're cute. They have the scalloped edges as well, and, and they're supposed to be mint coverage if you get the right size, Hope. All right, I already know you guys are gonna have mixed feelings about this next one. This is the top. <laughs> it took me a hot minute to try to figure out how to put this on. By hot minute, I mean 20 minutes, and I still have it on wrong. I think it's so cute, but it needs to come with instructions. Surprisingly, this is really good quality neoprene. I would say it is very comparable to triangle bikinis neoprene swimsuits. The material is so stiff that it doesn't shape to your body. So there's this weird fold in the butt. And there's this weird space that opens up in the front between your hips and the swimsuit. Maybe I'm just wearing it wrong, but I... I can't figure it. Swimsuit does run pretty true to size though. Next I have this cutout braided swimsuit. I think this is an awesome dupe for the Alatia swimsuits. And it's only $15.72. Again with the weird prices. This swimsuit comes in the colors turquoise and maroon. It is made from a polyester material. It's not phenomenal quality, but who freaking cares? Really, nobody around you, unless they are a bikini connoisseur, will know that you paid $15 for this and not $50. Next, I have this vintage style one-piece swimsuit. This one might be out of stock. I couldn't find it when I was linking the links down below. But this one's super nice. It comes up pretty high and it has a full coverage butt, which is really refreshing. I'm sure for you too, after all the cheek that you just saw. The vertical stripes are really flattering and then it also has this cute tie-up detail in the back. Okay, this last one has got to be my favorite favorite from this entire haul. So don't be mad at me. This one was actually $23, but it's okay because it's like a two-in-one swimsuit because it's reversible. On one side, the top has this cute, it's gonna say geographic print. That's not a thing. <laughs> Geometric print. And on one side, the bottoms have this zebra print. And then if you flip it, there's a whole new set of patterns. This blue-green damask with the pineapples on the top. There's this cute gray and white pattern on the back and then this leafy pattern on the front. This swimsuit is so comfy and the top is so supportive. The bottoms are actually like a perfect cut and they don't have elastic or harsh seams so it doesn't dig in weird places. I love it so much. I think it's so fun. That is all that I have for you guys today. Make sure to like this video if you enjoyed it and of course subscribe if you aren't so you can become an official Hope Scoper. Also shout out to Paige Vincent for cleaning up my Hope Scope intro. You're the woman. I will see you guys in the next video.